In this lecture, I'm going to talk about Mockito Frameworks API for Marketing. Before we go into the detail for Mockito, first I would like to introduce this Mockito.org website. It's very easy to find. And right there there is a download link and the Maven Central. Now you can take a look on it for about how to download it. And why we need this Mockito? It's because that in JUnit test, for the target and challenge of Unit test, we will need this Mockito to help. A Unit test should test a class in isolation so that you don't get bothered by the side effects. Side effects from other classes or the system should be eliminated if possible. The achievement of this desired goal is typical complicated by the fact that Java classes usually depends on other classes. To solve this, you can use test double. Test double is a design pattern or we call it a known solution pattern. Here is the classification of different test classes or we call it test patterns. All of these are considered the test double patterns. It is to help you to isolate the problem that you don't want to touch. First, a dummy object. A dummy object is passed around but never used. For example, its methods are never called. Such an object, for example, be used to fill up the parameters of a method. Fake object. Fake object have working implementation but are usually simplified. For example, they use an in-memory database and not a real database. When you use fake object, you are thinking of treating the real database, but in fact it is not. And dummy has nothing inside there. You just try to fill the parameter in, but you don't get any data out or something you desire, as long as the dummy object can work. A stop class is a partial implementation for an interface or class with the purpose of using an interface of this stop class during testing. Stops usually do responding at all to anything outside what's programmed in for the test. Stops may also record information about calls. So usually a stop class is something outside help to feed data or something trying to record records. A mark object is a dummy implementation for an interface or a class in which you define the output of certain method calls. Background Stop, marks, spy, dummy, fakes are all collaborators. In fact, in some other places, we heard that the service object, helper object, or something like that. But we call these double pattern as collaborators. It is similar to helper or service items. But this collaborator is a special name for this marking stuff. The first thing we need is a little background. When unit testing, which is primarily what people are talking about when discussing TDD, test driven design, the class you are testing is called system under test. Sometimes we call it class under test or design under test. There are very few classes that operate entirely in isolation. Usually they need other classes or objects in order to function, whether injected via the constructor or passed in as method parameters. These are known as collaborators. When we talk about collaborators in the context of unit testing, we are specifically talking about collaborator for the system under test. So you have a class, but you may have many class to work with it in order to make it work. But when we do isolated testing like unit testing, it is very hard to incorporate all the real objects surrounding it. So that's why we need dummy and mark and stop to help us collaborators. So the test double patterns can have these different variants. Dummy object, test stop, test spy, mark object, and fake object. And test stop Mark and spy are called the marks. So it is to use substitute for the tester 
or the system under test to perform unit test. Test sometimes we call it stop, and system under testing are called mark. Stop and marks, they are different. When we have a design under test over here, it may output to six different things and not feed the data to testing. When we do this, we can put a mark in between the testing instead of directly getting the output to the tester object. So this is the pass for mark. You get the data from SUT and input for the test pass. And the other way around, we can have the tester to invoke stop and put the input to the application. And then have the system under test to feed the result back to the stop for the stop to recall the information. Mokido, Mokido is a test spy framework and it is very simple to learn. Notable with Mokido is that expectations of any mark objects are not defined before the test as they sometimes are in other marking frameworks. This leads to a more natural style, IMHO, when beginning marking. Let's go to the website to look at the download link and go to Eclipse for about how to install them. First, for the download, it is easy to use this MVN repository. For the version 1.10.19, that's a newer version at the time I'm doing demo, and click this download jar, you will get the mojito jar package. And you click back to org.mojito, you should see two versions. The one I'm talking about is the all-in-one version. You can also click this mojito core and pull down to this 1.10.19, click. And right here, you can download the Makito dash core version and two dependency files for handcraft dash core, all this up genesis. And here, you would like to have the newest version. And once you download those things down, for example, if you use the all-in-one version, you can put into a certain library over here, and then you click it, and then come to the reference library you want to install, right click, and then build pass, configure build pass, and try to add external jar file. And if you are using the Maven project, you should find the Maven dependency library links, and then same thing, do build pass and configure pass and then add the Mokito all in one in. Or if you prefer, you can also install the Mokito dash core version with the two dependency file together. Thank you.